This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Chem Power, and a better route planner. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the e-tron GT, and you know, um, the e-tron GT and the Taycan, they share the same platform, the same battery and drive chain. And when I drove the Taycan last year, I noticed that it has something called uh, range mode over there. Over here, it's not called range mode, it's called efficiency mode. But I've been using the efficiency mode when I did the range test earlier today. And I noticed, by the way, that when you are in the range mode or in the efficient mode, uh, the front tires are slightly warmer than the rear tires. And that makes actually sense because um, I noticed that, okay, in, in Taycan, you have more information. Taycan will show you battery temperature. You have a, a screen where you can see if it's rear wheel drive or front wheel drive. You have lots of cool information in Taycan that you don't have here, even though it's the same drivetrain. But uh, what I noticed in the Taycan is that when you're in the normal mode or whatever, like uh, regular mode or something, um, it will be mostly 90%, about 90% rear wheel drive and only 10% front wheel drive. And then if you hammer it, the power goes more 50-50 or something, but the rear motor is probably the one with the most torque and the most power. Uh, and that's why you want to have the rear motor or something like that. But once you put Taycan in efficiency mode or I mean, I mean range mode, uh, it will then go only on the front wheel, the smaller and not so powerful front wheel, but more efficient front wheel. And then it will it disengage the rear motor. Because as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, Taycan uses uh, permanent magnet motors in the front and the rear. And permanent magnet motors cannot be disengaged like that and just free roll, unlike uh, induction motors. But what Taycan has is a gearbox in the rear, and then it can uh, clutch it out or disengage the, the motor completely. And that's why you see that when you address, when we did the range test and whatever, only the front motor is driving the, the car forward. And that's why the, the front tires are slightly warmer. So what I want to find out is how much difference does it make when doing using efficiency mode versus the regular mode? Because when you, at least for the, uh, e-tron GT when you just start the car it will default to the comfort mode and then it will be mostly rear wheel drive and what you know the 90% rear and 10% front so I have to remember to put it in efficiency mode every time unless I I haven't found a way to save that that setting so uh, we will go to a different stretch and then do some measurement and see what we can find out so we see here if we put the car in drive now and then check drive mode if it's dynamic you see that it has, well, it has a fake engine sound, but when we switch mode, you will hear the gear shift. <coughs> yeah. So it actually changed. When you have it in dynamic, it will change gear for the best speed at low, uh, in the low end also. But when you go to, okay, no difference there. But the efficiency mode, yeah, then, <laughs> then it, um, in efficiency mode, it's supposed to disengage the rear motor. You hear this little click, click. With a little thunk also. Huh, interesting. I just noticed it because normally I don't drive that slow when I change the mode. Huh. Okay, but that, let's get over to Krafta. Okay, we are now at Klefta, my regular test stretch. So as usual, I'll be driving here, east, and then turn around and come back again. And I get very consistent results. So I guess we could just try one mode now and see how it goes. I will just reset the trip here and then start testing. Okay, first test, we drive at, well, <laughs> this is kind of weird. We drive at 85 kilometers per hour in the speed though, but it's 80 kilometers per hour GPS speed. And we are in the in the comfort mode right now. Yeah. And the temperature well, is 9 degrees, so do one lap and see the consumption. And then we do the exact same lap in efficiency mode, see if there's any difference. Well, I did the test now. So um, first test, you see, it was 80 kilometers per hour. And in efficiency mode, we have a lower consumption than in the comfort mode. But you know, I also use HVAC on because that's also more realistic. But it turns out that when, when you have, uh, yeah, efficiency mode reduces the consumption by 13 watt per kilometer. And then I did another run in 100 kilometers per hour. And you see that 
there the difference was 22 watt hour per kilometer. So uh, based on this, it could indicate that there is actually a pretty big gain by using efficiency mode or range mode. So I remember the guy that drove to Malaga with a Taycan. Um, uh, I think at, uh, eventually he started using uh, uh, range mode, but in the Taycan, he was probably just using comfort mode uh, most of the time. So. Yeah, if you guys have Taycan or e-tron GT, you can save a lot of energy by using uh, the, the, the more eco mode. But again, I don't know exactly how much the, I mean, if uh, HVAC settings are affected by this, but I think uh, m most of the saving here comes from the drivetrain, like more efficient drivetrain thing. Yeah, so, well, interesting to find out about this i think from now on and also <laughs> the reason why i make this video is because i need to know because i'm going on a long trip and i'm also going 1000 kilometer challenge and i need to know how to set the car to be in the most efficient way but the interesting thing here is that the, for the Taycan and the e-tron gt you have to specifically set this car to be efficient whereas in tesla you are already in the most efficient mode already even if you are in ludicrous mode uh, so yeah and then of course if you hammer it in ludicrous mode in tesla you also get pretty massive power but also here even in the efficiency mode here when you just floor it it goes also like crazy but i guess there's a little bit lag when it depends what kind of speed you have it might have to downshift the the, the rear motor and whatever and then you get this mm, kick yeah but in the in the uh, dynamic mode it will always be ready and more uh, more snappy yes so anyway, uh, this was interesting. Uh, maybe other people should test the same and see if they get the same result. Hmm. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.